Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On January 1, 1829, Secretary of State Henry Clay recorded the following entry in his diary. Prince Ibrahima, an Islamic prince sold into slavery 15 years ago, joined the black citizens of Philadelphia as an honored guest in their New Year's Day parade. Born in 1762 in present-day Guinea, Ibrahima was ambushed, captured, and sold to slave traders in 1788 at the age of 26. Thomas Foster, a cotton planter, eventually purchased Ibrahima and brought him to his plantation near Natchez, Mississippi. Eventually, the prince became a highly valued overseer on Foster's field plantation and there he married a slave named Isabel, with whom he fathered nine children. Many individuals, including the Sultan of Morocco, appealed to President John Quincy Adams to free the prince so that he could return to Africa. Colonel Foster finally agreed to free him without payment, on the condition Ibrahim returned to live in Africa. Before returning to his native land, the prince and his wife raised enough money to buy the freedom of their two sons and their families. Ibrahima died in Monrovia, Liberia in 1829. Today, descendants of the prince among slaves are found in Mississippi and across the South, as well as the country, as well as the country of Liberia. I'm Darrell Grinnell, president of the Adams County Board of Supervisors and assistant professor of biological sciences at Alcorn State University, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.